soon as we compile the information. At, at this point in time, um, what, we are to, what we have to do is to respond to the need of relief and rescue. So there are many nuclear power plants in the places hit by the quake. What are the safety situation? Well, as the Prime Minister said in his comment, as for the nuclear power plant, at this point, there are no report of damage or radioactive waves from leaking. And uh, this, we have uh, organized a team at the emergency disaster headquarters at the Prime Minister's office, and we are continuing to contact uh, relevant sources to confirm that there is no damage to nuclear power plants. How about the highways, uh, Shinkansen bullet trains, and how, oh, those uh, traffic infrastructure, what are the damage? Well, according to the meeting, second meeting of the headquarters of emergency disasters, in JR East Japan, where the Shinkansen bullet trains have stopped, but no derailment or other major um, accidents have been confirmed. But uh, there are people who are trapped in the train, which have stopped. So there we would have to provide some relief to these people in con con contacting the JR trains. And also the, we will get in touch with the police as well as firefighters to confirm safety of the people who are trapped inside the trains, which have stopped. And are you thinking about dispatching the ministers, the vice ministers to the disaster sites? The senior vice minister in responsible for disaster relief is thinking about heading towards the disaster site. However, the disaster relief units in the local communities are placing priority on relief efforts and rescue efforts. That is more important. Therefore, we are pre preparing for uh, cabinet ministers and government officials to go in as soon as possible. Regarding the aftershocks, about the likelihood of likely aftershocks, have you, uh, have you been updated by the meteorological agency? As a general rule, aftershocks are likely to occur. And regarding the tsunami, the first waves of tsunami have already hit. And the second batch and the third uh, that batch or the third waves of the tsunami may occur. So in that sense, we have to watch out and prepare for the aftershocks and the second and third waves of tsunami occurrences. So I ask the people of Japan to be vigilant and be prepared. This earthquake has hit during the diet session. And when the earthquake hit during the diet session, how did you feel? I'm sure you were in a session. I felt that it was a very large earthquake. I think we all did. That was immediately apparent. And we were in the midst of, of a committee session, but we asked the committee chairman, Tsuruho, to let some of us, including myself, return to the Prime Minister's official residence so that we can attend to the matter. And we went into the Disaster Response Center, and we received information, and we reacted and responded to the information that we were re receiving. In that sense, we are very grateful for uh, Committee Chairman Tsuruho to have suspended the committee pr proceedings so that we could return to the pr uh, Prime Minister's official residence. And related to that, for the government, the emergency response will be, will be very important. And how will we do this, including uh, any cooperation necessary from the opposition bloc? So far, we are assessing the extent of the damage, and we are giving instructions to respond to the damage. And we are keeping in close touch with the senior vice ministers, and we are also in communication 
with heads of the various political parties. Our Secretary General and our Vice Deputy President 